Welcome to my art gallery show. My name is Martha Medina. Why, why are you drawn to this theme? Why am I drawn to this theme? That's such a powerful question. Thank you for asking it. Um, I am drawn to this theme because it represents my cultural roots. In discovering my Puerto Rican heritage, I have discovered that I am the voice of history. Hey, hey, hey. Say, <laughs> say that again, say that again, say that again. I am the voice of history. Can you say the same thing? <laughs> you are the voice of your history. So the only way I can keep my culture alive wow. is to let others know the rich culture I come from. That Puerto Ricans, regardless of how much African, Taino, and Spanish blood they have, or how it is demonstrated outwardly by their hair, their skin tone, their uh, we should embrace the culture rather than pushing it away. Oh my God, I've seen that. I've seen that. Haven't you? I have seen that. I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a Puerto Rican, uh, 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 born and raised in Puerto Rico. Uh, I'm the youngest of six. My five, my other five siblings were born and raised in New York, in Brooklyn. Uh, but uh, sometimes we, we talk, uh, I, I think they're more Puerto Rican than me from time to time. Uh, well, you're more Puerto Rican, more Puerto Rican than, than, than them for, because I was born and raised in Puerto Rico. But that, what it matters is that you embrace your heritage. I have learned about people, I have met Many women, people. women and men alike that they don't even carry the Puerto Rican flag in the car. They don't even have a, a, a coqui in their house. In their house. And they are like, nah, that I'm New York, I'm from a social state, or oh, uh, my parents didn't uh, um, uh, move me to learn the Spanish, they didn't taught me this, they didn't taught me that, but I know I'm Puerto Rican. That's social excuse. That's a lame excuse. Who does not want to know more about the, the culture? Their culture. This right? is so, so important. It's you know true. what? This is how you discover who you are, part of your heritage. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so interesting, Martha. So, and and in addition to that, I wanted to say that I want people to know that culture is not a disgrace. No. Okay. No, and no. I'm gonna throw this out there. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. And get ready. Get ready. Get ready. We might be there for a minute, but I just wanna say for those religious folks out there that think that embracing culture is a sin. Okay? Go ahead. It is a total misunderstanding and misinterpretation of the Bible. Yes, I agree. To think that culture should not be embraced. It is a false teaching and I don't stand for it. I know you don't stand for it. I don't stand for it at all. What you eat, how you wear your clothes, like your guayabera. Like your with jeans. With jeans on. How you sing your old songs. Yes. Um, or even what religion you choose to embrace. Yes, that's you know, true. Should not intentionally suppress your culture. Malta, that's very deep. That's very deep and to a certain extent, many people will find this a statement, because this is a statement, very controversial. But yes. let me, can I, can I add something to that? Sure, for sure. Folks, my peeps, mi gente, one of the worst things that we can do, as a Christian man that I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yes, I'm gonna talk to you as a Christian man, one of the worst things a Christian person, individual, can do is to turn your back to your own culture because of whatever religion you might be. I don't talk about religions. As a Christian, we should embrace love, compassion, mercy, and that should not affect who you are 
as individual. You might be Dominican, you might be African, or you might be uh, 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 Anglo, you might be uh, 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 Cuban, you might be Peruvian, Mexican, no matter what race you are. That's your race, that's who you are as your an people. individual. Mm -hmm. That you have a belief, Christian belief, and that you have a, a religious belief, or you are from whatever religion might be, that should not, should not take away who you are. I see Marta, oh my God, not just Christian, not just Christian. I see other many religions that all of a sudden you have to look like them. Yep. In, and you want to so suppress. You want to suppress your, your own, culture, own culture. And you lose your identity. Yes. That was so interesting. Um, That's deep, yeah. How do you choose your colors? Okay, so I love bright colors as you can see demonstrated throughout this pe all these pieces. So I choose bright colors intentionally. Some works I start with the same color like a green background. As time goes by, I make changes and I add more colors. It may sometimes depend on my mood. <laughs> So depending on how I feel, I want to be more red, more blue, more green, you know, or something like that, or purple, like this one, I wanted to really express royalty here. So I wanted the, the purples and the yellows to protrude out with the red just lined around it. Say, also, what do Afro-Latina means? Okay, so she got me thinking, all right? Because I wanted to be very clear with this answer. Okay. All right. I wanted to be very clear I, I, I and very specific. I can't wait to hear specific. it. I can't wait to hear it, Marta. To some Afro Latina, and I had to include Afro Caribbean. And thank you for that because I, um, I, I had started this series by using the name that was given in the festival, mm -hmm. you know, Afro-Latino festival. Uh, but I wanted my girls to stand with me <laughs> in my Afro-Latina, uh, Afro-Caribbean culture. Yes. You know, I wanted them to stand with Puerto Rico, you know. Uh, but the, although they identify with many people mm -hmm. of color, so regardless of where you're from, I wanted to identify them as Afro-Caribbean. So thank you because I needed to make that clarification and you, you know, you asking that question really clarified things for me. All right. But just to define Afro-Latina or Afro-Caribbean. Um, and the reason why I say Latina is because Latina refers to a woman and Car Caribeña refers to a woman. Mm -hmm. Okay. Women power. Yes. And women from Spanish descent who have more African blood that runs through their veins than Taino or Spanish blood. It's a woman whose skin pigmentation is light caramel to a dark brown or turns dark in the sun and hair texture from curly to thick to rough represents that of African culture. More so than a woman who has more Spanish, lighter skin with thinner hair, no curls to be acquired or maintained without a perm or a Taino, which is a tan to bronze skin tone with dark, thick, straight hair resemblance. What do you think about that? That is so deep. That is interesting because um, I, you remember that I told you I have five siblings before me. Exactly. So um, the skin tonality of our of us it varies from lighter to darker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I have a, you have a picture I of have that. A picture Maybe of that. we can post that later. <laughs> So uh, we, what, what the picture is that we put our heads uh, and, and it goes from darker to lighter you, uh, around the table. Uh, many people have asked me if I am from a different race, uh, if I'm Dominican or if I'm uh, from Haiti, because they seem like, you know, a little darker. But um, I tell them I'm from Puerto Rico and 
I, my father comes from an African Spaniard descendant, and my mother is from a direct Taino descendant. So the reason of my color is because uh, uh, the Tainos and some of the uh, uh, African uh, um, people at that time used mm -hmm. to be in the coast. Uh, and I live in the coast. My mother, my father, when they met, they met in Brooklyn, New York, but their heritage is from the coast in Puerto Rico. So therefore, my skin tone is like that. My other two brothers, uh, the skin tone is even darker because they live in the island uh, and they take the sun all the time. And uh, my sisters, uh, the, one of them live in Puerto Rico, her skin tone is darker than my other two sisters that live here in New York and in Chicago. Exactly. So it, it, is, it is interesting to, to, to see how our skin tone varies depending where we are and also how much of the uh, uh, DNA yes. of the African or Indian or Spain, uh, Spaniard are in, uh, within our blood. Within our blood. And one of the things that the Martha took upon herself, it was to show the world, show you, our, uh, our people that are watching us, and show the people that when we go to the galleries and everything else to show our heritage. Yes. That we should be proud of who we are. Definitely. You should be proud of who you are. All right? Thank you so much for your time, guys. Thank you for passing by my art gallery show. I appreciate your time. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beautiful works of art, please do not hesitate. Go to artbymarthamedina.com art and you will find some of my pieces online to print if you're just looking for a print or if you are looking for to buy an original if you're looking to buy an original look for original original artwork rather look for original artwork and you will see um, some of the postings okay once you look at them you'll be able to determine based on your budget what what you can afford. All of them are include shipping and handling fees. Uh, so regardless of where you are in the United States, if you have any other questions that you would like to share with me, please do not hesitate. Go to my art space, make a comment, or go to my website and make a comment, or message me. Um, text me if you have my number and I will make sure to go over those questions on um, any given day. All right, thanks for now. If you are watching this show for the first time, make sure to press like, subscribe, and press that notification bell. See you later. Hasta luego. Bye. Ciao for now.